Hello there everybody, my name is Silver and welcome back to Destiny 2 Devil's Ruin. A new exotic sidearm has just been released and we are going to go and get it. A time lost frame that is in fact new uh, has appeared in the sundial and the sundial will be champions to pull this frame into the present timeline. Those who accomplish this will gain access to a new exotic quest. Nice. So it's an exotic sidearm and it's going to be sick. This is in fact one of the shortest and easiest exotic quests that we have seen in Destiny thus far and it's going to be pretty great. I appreciate not having incredibly long quest lines to get exotics. If I'm being completely honest, I still have a crap ton of exotics that I still haven't gotten. Uh, for some reason I got this for Jotun, so that's cool. Uh, I thought it was locked behind just having good RNG. Uh, I have this for friggin' Malfeasance. I have this for something else. Yeah, there's 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 a lot of exotic quests that I've just never gotten around to do. I have most of the exotic quests on my hunter, which I will get to eventually. Thorn, Malfeasance, and um, uh, Truth I haven't gotten either. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Anyways, anyways, the first step in getting the Devil's Rune is completing a run of the Sundial. So I'm going to go do that, and I'm probably not going to record it because the Sundial is not all that interesting. All right, let's do it. the wrong emote there when we killed the boss, and dang it. Alrighty then, now that that's done, we can have a look at the quest that we got here a moment in time. You fooled a time loss of a frame out of the shattered timelines of the sundial, although you gotta identify the weapon yourself, Saint 14 thinks he can help you discover its origin. Bring the frame to Saint, alrighty, I can do that. Very straightforward. So, of course, I'm sure you know Saint is over here in the hangar, let's go say hi. Oh, hey, look, it's my ship. Nice. Hello, my titan brother. What is up? I long to see old Russia again. Saint 14 takes the weapon frame from you, holding it as if it is something very precious. This, he says, looking up from the frame, was used during the Battle of Twilight Gap. That battle was one of the moments that helped define what we as a city stand for. He hands the frame back to you. The people of the last city name... Came. They came together as... One to fight that battle, guardians and lightless alike. Blah 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Cool. So there's that. A tour through history. So the next thing we have to do is very simple. Saint Fourteen has confirmed that the time lost frame you found is a piece of Twilight Gap history. Uh huh. Venture to Twilight Gap in the EDZ. Okay, cool. Very straightforward. This is a non-combat mission where you just walk around, supposedly. So, I guess we go to Earth here. And, uh, what, uh, zero hour... Um, where, where, uh... Here it is. Cool. Oh, wow. Very nice. So, if you're any kind of Destiny fan, I'm sure you have at least heard of Twilight Gap. It is a famous Welcome battleground. Twilight Gap. The place where humanity nearly died. 
Guardian, there are no crucible matches scheduled for the gap today. Osiris, how did you know we were here? I saw the Guardian arrive. You're spying on her? I watch all Guardians of Stature. Right. So the only thing interesting about this is the dialogue between Shax, the Osiris, and Saint. So that's pretty cool. Your objective here is to find uh, fragments of robots and stuff. And it's pretty cool. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm sure you've at least heard of Twilight Gap if you're any kind of fan of Destiny. This is historically where we fought off a huge united attack of the Fallen. They were trying to destroy the city many years ago. And we would have died here except uh, the Queen of the Reef stopped the House of Wolves from coming to aid in the onslaught as well. If the House of Wolves came here to fight us as well, we very well might have perished. But anyways, it's a famous battleground and it's a big deal. And we are looking for more of these robot dudes. Oh, there's another one here. Nice. I have to find ten of these things, do I? Hmm. Okay. Oh, another one here on uh, whatever this... This isn't where one of the points is. No, no, the in the PvP map, the point uh, point C is up the here, isn't it? The Ooh. That took place here. It made Titans famous, not in a good way. You say that like the warlocks and hunters sat on their hands. Get off this line, Osiris. I'm showing the Guardian something very important. Make me. <laughs> you would not survive that, but you make me laugh. You can stay. You make me laugh. You can stay. Okay, so a little bit of banter between those two. That's cool. Uh, where's the next robot? Hmm, maybe this way. Ah, uh, look at the city. So beautiful. So fragile. Ah. Uh. I like how the whole moving parts of the Traveler isn't, like, animated when you're out here. That's funny. Well, obviously, the skybox in the tower is pretty crazy. Oh, there's another robot here in this little shipping container. Nice, nice. I'll always remember Dude back in Destiny 1. This is one of my favorite maps to play on. What I would always try to do, people on point B down here. As a Titan, I would run down here, and then I would go slam, wham -a jam buzz with, um... With a, whatever you call it, um, Titan Slam, yeah, and it was always so sick, or I tried to do that as often as I could in matches. Titan Slam meant a little bit more back in D1 because it was just a one-time thing, and it was super satisfying to get a whole bunch of kills with it. Good times, guys, good times. Anyways, um, still looking for these robots, uh, maybe, maybe over here, hmm. I need to find five more of these things, are you serious, mate? Um, gosh, I don't know where to look in here. No, god dang it. Um, uh, here's one in plain sight. God damn it. Okay, nice, nice. Either I'm an idiot or this is real tricky, guys. God damn, I'm probably gonna go with the first thing. Um, yeah, I still need to find a few more. Jeez, I must have done so many laps of this place by now. Curses! Uh, there, there's a few more to find. Come on, dude. Um... Say what you will about this game, but it's God damn pretty, oh my goodness. Okay, like, I'm about to look up freaking Datto's Guide at this point, guys. Like, uh, I'm such a pleb. Seven, seven of them, ah, oh, man. I've, I've walked around so much. I've walked around so much. I don't know where the last few are. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, there, there's one on this box. Gosh dang it, okay. Right. Cheeky, cheeky. Uh, I'm totally cheating and totally looking up Dado's Guide. Not gonna lie, there's another one here. Cool. Alright. Now we just need one Got more. It. Whether you wanted it or not, you've become the best of us. We're close to it. Without you, there would be no Saint-14. The Battle of Twilight Gap might have been lost. Saint, 
Your ego knows no bounds. And you have a fat head, Warlock. Savage. All right, here's the last one, cheeky bastards. Here we go. Shushwing. Sweet. Now what happens? The next four minutes of this video is just the dialogue between Shax and Saint-14. Skip it if you feel so inclined. What's all this? Guardian, there are no sanctioned matches at Twilight Gap right now. That's exactly what I was saying. Osiris! Warlord Shax, as I live and breathe. Saint-14? I thought you were dead. Brother, I have always hated you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be at this for a while, Guardian. Feel free to move about the universe. I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to this. Shag, the Crucible. What have you done with it? It's not the Crucible by which you and I were forged. It took years. But Twilight Gap changed everything. After that day out there, the Crucible went from a place where we settled our differences to a place where we bettered ourselves. I heard you give out some amazing weapons to your fighters. Those weapons are earned with blood, sweat, and tears. Are you sure your fighters are bettering themselves or chasing hardware? Listen, even Guardians need to get paid once in a while. <laughs> when you put it that way, you sound like that sad, lonely rat man who lives downstairs. The Drifter. Keep your enemies close, right? Watch him for us. I was shocked to see Eris mourn again. She is not as she was. She represents the best of us. Ghostless. And stronger than you and me both. Perhaps we could get her a bigger gun. She would not have to carry that rock all the time. Speaking of guns, uh, tell me more about these weapons you've crafted. I am not allowed to earn them. I have heard you made one for young Redrix. Uh, Redrix is Claymore? Broadsword. Whatever. There was a hand cannon as well. You made one for Yosef. Uh, Luna's howl. Yes, Luna was his dog. She passed on the moon, fighting Hive. Those bastards. I'm glad you killed their king. Are these questions leading anywhere, Saint? Yes. The long rifle you designed, the Revoker, what's the story behind it? What does it do? It shoots bullets, Saint. It's a gun. Uh, all the good work you've done. The city is amazing. The tower is amazing. Anything I've done pales in comparison to what our Guardian has accomplished. I always told you she would return to save us. Still wearing that spinfoil hat, I see. The Guardian saved you with Vextech. She is not a divine savior. <laughs> Wanna bet? Oh, you never change. And you still owe me Glimmer. In my defense, you were dead. And I don't make much as Crucible Handler. You know, when I walk the streets of the city, the children demand I carry them. I do so, but I ask them to sing me a song. A song of their people... No, I refuse. Then you can pay me. A titan is only as good as his work. But I don't know any songs. Make something up. Let me see. Eris hummed a few bars on the moon. How did it go? I'm on the moon. It's made of cheese. That is awful. It's not my song. It's Eris's. That was amazing. I absolutely love the banter. A++ plus plus Bungie, A++, plus plus. oh my god.
All right then, everybody, if you have stayed and listened to all that banter, I am quite surprised. But anyways, here we are. We have the Devil's Run, a sidearm. Hell yes. Press on, the devils will rule the day they came to our doors. Cool. It looks dope, first of all. Like, my god. Close the gap. Variable trigger. Press and release to fire individual shots. Hold to charge up a high-powered, staggering laser. That is freaking dope. I love laser guns and energy weapons. Mm. And we have extended barrel, projection views, pyrogenesis, fully charging the laser refills the magazine from reserves. Neat. And combat grip. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Anyways, guys, that is how you get the Devil's Rune. Very straightforward, very easy. And in the next video, I will be doing a PvP review of it, because I think cramming all that in the same video would be a bit much. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time for the review of this in the Crucible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!